gonna all go get us a um, bean bag on the bean bag. They have a number on it, and as soon as you find out what number you are, you're gonna start running around and saying these tones. When I say homes, you're gonna go find a spot over there. Okay, you're gonna stand on one spot. After that, I'm gonna call out five numbers. Those people are it. You're gonna raise your hand and you're gonna walk out and you're gonna walk this way. When those people are it, yes. <coughs> No. Okay, look, let, too much information. Just tell, go okay, get them doing that first. Grab a bean bag. Hurry up. Once you grab too a bean bag, start running around. Start running around. Start running around. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hold! Oh! that too much, did he? <laughs> Victoria, are you sick? Are you getting sick? You don't, you don't look like you're moving too fast for them. They're about 30 years old. Those were here when I came here. <laughs> okay, first one. First one we're gonna do is called the wand catch. You're gonna start off with the wand on the ground, and you're gonna balance it with your two fingers. Okay, then you're gonna bring your leg, and you're gonna go over, and you're gonna catch it. Okay, with the same hand. What you're doing is you're bringing your leg over, and you're catching it, making sure it don't fall. And, and what grade are we today? What grade are we? Fifth grade. We're fifth grade. So you're 12 years old. Can we catch with our hands? Can we catch with our two fingers? You can catch with your hand. Make sure it's the same hand. Yeah, that's very good. Look at that flexibility. Once you take a couple of times, switch hands. Switch hands and legs. Ah, look at that. Look at that. That's cheating. <laughs> Without letting go. <laughs> oh, look! Look who got it! He's like six four and he can do it. Oh, I bragged too soon. Very good. Come on. Look at that! Look at that! I, I notice Justin's not gonna try to do that. Alright, try it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Alright, now everybody needs to stand up. Now from standing, we're gonna have it out in front of us. 
I'm going to go one leg over. I'm going to bring the other one back. Back over. Crawl oh. through. Can't touch the bar. You short, you short. Right. So we're going right leg, right leg over, then one left leg. You should end up with it behind your back. Good. Yeah. My grandfather at 60, for his 65th birthday jumped over the broom and back on his 65th birthday. Now from here, when you have it in your back, you're going to want to turn and your Andrew's hands. Andrew's going to do that, you right? You want to turn your hands like this. All right, then we're going to try to bring it over our back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh look. Okay, That's you know, a good job. From here, you have your hands like this. Uh -huh. Okay, you're going right, left, and your hands should end up like this with your knuckles pointing forward. Okay. All you're going to do is you're going to turn your hands to where your knuckles are out. Okay, then we're going to go over our back. Oh. That's amazing. And then we'll turn our hands back. Oh, okay. Look at that. All right. That's flexibility. Let's try the whole thing. I'm front. I'm front. Good. We're we'll going right leg. Good we'll job. Go right leg over, left leg. Turn our hands. And then we'll go over. Oh. Good. 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 So all we're doing is we're taking our right leg, so like going, this? going over our, our arm and underneath the bar. Good. Look at that dynamic balance. Over your right arm. Oh, that's not So is it the other leg or my right leg over my right arm? Right, right, right leg. Yeah, right yeah, leg. yeah. Right. Just stick it in there. Just like that. <laughs> From here, you don't want to bend down. I don't know. What? What? You got to get through it. Where? 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 Yeah. How do you know it's down? Okay, we'll just start off with the, the first step. Okay, we're gonna just put our right leg over. Without falling down. Without falling down, we're gonna stand straight up. Over the top. You can do it. Come on. Oh, look at that. Come keep trying, keep trying. Hey, AJ's got it. Look, Powell's got it. Now we'll try with the left leg. Can I bring the left leg over? Let's bring in your left leg over. Yes, it helps to be facing the same direction. Huh? Just like that, good. Now once you have a longer wand, or more flexible, you'll be able to, as soon as you have it like this, we'll go over, you'll make it behind your back. Go over? He's trying to... Oh, and then you roll it down your back. You're supposed to roll it down your back, like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, you did you know, it in between your legs like this. That's definitely not a beginner's move. Okay, everybody, I need y'all to save y'all wands. I'm gonna save my wands over here. Once you save your wands, I need everybody to come running around. Come around the back. Very good. Good job. Very organized. Carpet it was over there if you need it. Right. 
Okay, the first step we're going to go in is, um, the first one we're going to do, if y'all can pay attention, the first one we're going to do is going to go start off with our right leg, left, and then we're going to end up on our right. Then you're going to come down with it, and then you're going to come sit. So all you're doing is, you're going right, left, out, down, and then you're going to face, and you're going to turn. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing, and we're going to keep going around. So we're going to practice the steps without the beat going. My beat is, if y'all can just clap on your uh, leg, uh, the beat is one, two, three, four. All right? So y'all can start with it. Okay, so Step. Step into 
going in, in, out, out. Move to the right. Yeah, feet as if you could make your feet on your, uh, on your legs and clap. Here we go. Go! Good demonstration. Whoever was just beating, Second group's going to beat the first group. We'll do this. Whoever's, whoever's poles are at the bottom, you'll be the, you'll be the, uh, the beaters on your legs. And if the poles are at the bottom, you'll hold them in place so they don't move. Alright? So we're going in, in, out, out, and move to the right. Ready? Go! In, in, out, out. Look at that skill. Yes, but they're athletes, you know. They got rhythm. Look at that. Look at that. We want the whole class to be in sync, you know. Where everybody's have 60 little kids doing the same thing. A little wider. So which foot crosses? You're gonna right, right, come out with your left. Right, right, come out with your left. AJ, you're blocking my video.
uh, is that one longer? Yeah, I think. At least you didn't get the little yellow ones. Those are the shortest. Remember, we're little kids today. We have to practice before we start ro jumping. Okay, good job. Let's get a little twisted. Oh, yeah. Oh, you do look like you're coming down the slope. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Watch the goal. Set. Go. Yeah, that's good. Good job. 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 Good Let's move to scarves. All right, let's move on to scarves. Look, I brought some more toys for y'all. You got all kinds of stuff. Softballs, basketballs, or juggling pins. Yeah, you need to be able to do this 20, 30 seconds first. Yes. Make the X, make the X. Like this. So your hands making an X? Yeah, yeah. Look at that, Mr. Powell. He has got it down. I think you need to move on to softballs. Yeah, I think you're ready for it. that or bean bags. The scarves just slow it down where you can kind of get the hang of it. 
Hey, AJ, way to, you're getting it, you're getting it. Drew's struggling with those pins back there. He's struggling. He's got 1,000 repetitions, folks. 1,000 repetitions. You got it. I think you finally got the rhythm, huh? As long as you can move, you can do it, huh? Hey, look, he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's juggling. Oh. Yeah, if we're gonna use balls, we gotta get out get out here. If you go if you move to balls, you gotta throw a little higher so you have more time to to move. That's it. Oh, you had it. She starts out this way and then she goes this way. Yeah, she, she loses her rhythm. What? And I have it on tape. She can do it. You get 10 extra points if you can juggle basketballs. Look, if you, if you look at our YouTube channel, you, if you look at our YouTube channel, you'll see a lot, at the end of the semester, a lot of my students can juggle basketballs. But, yes. Yes, you get extra. You have to do it 30 seconds just like the scarves. Balls or beanbags are 100, scarves are 90, and be, uh, basketballs are 110%. That's a, oh, if you can do a trick, same thing. Or you can bounce them out off the wall. Video. All right, guys, let's pick up their scarves and the number spots. Guys, let's get the poles back in the closet and the balls. So one person go save the balls. Uh, you have to tell them which person because they're not going to do it. Yeah, just go push it back in the equipment room, you know, in the hall, toward the pool. Uh, when they... Uh